This was going to be the season that the Budmaster was going to prove that he's still the best forward in the game. And then another injury setback. This time it's his knee. The positive news is that it's only a clean out so he will miss little time and could be ready for round one. Is this time frame realistic? I don't think so, but I see him back for about round three or four. From all reports this preseason, this has been probably his best preseason for years, which is super exciting for not only himself, but us fans that have been missing his magic for too long now. The last few seasons, he has been hit with ongoing groin injuries, and if I'm Sydney, I would start to think about the rest and recovery method with him. The same methods have been used all over in the NBA. Star players are rested late in games, and even back-to-back -back games to avoid fatigue and possible injury. It has worked with guys like Kawhi Leonard and LeBron James. To be honest, it's super hard for any athlete to maintain a superior level of athleticism into their mid to late 30s. Not many in history have done it. Even the great ones start feeling father time creeping up before their eyes. Do I think Buddy and the Swans can defy the odds? I do. I've seen the man go from a shy 18 year old lanky left foot flanker to the game's very best forward and kicking 944 goals in 300 games. Overall, he's one of the fittest 33 year olds you'll come across. He takes very good care of his body and trains alongside young vets like Isaac Heaney, Luke Parker, Callum Mills, Tom Papley and Dean Rampey. This next to the fact that Sydney are also developing key tools, Nick Blakey and Tom McCartan. One of these guys will no doubt try and compete for that full forward spot come round one. For now, Buddy can just rest up, watch some games and hopefully offer some coaching tips from the sidelines. Imagine how much a young star could learn from a guy who is arguably the best player of all time. Once Bud is back and proves he is fit, he takes that full forward spot instantly. Buddy at 60% is still better than most forwards in the entire league and that's no disrespect to the up and comers, it's Buddy Franklin. And with that said, I'm out. Thanks for watching my content. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you agreed or disagreed with my takes, let me know in the comments. Lastly, if you enjoy footy videos and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. Peace.